Alright guys, here we go one more time. Uh, this time hopefully we won't have any uh, disconnects or drops or anything like that. But uh, well, we are on duel. Are registering having ping, so okay, yeah, both so no far. no one no one has dashes instead of numbers, which is probably a good sign. So once again we are on duel. This is gonna be the semi-final match in the Air Mech weekend 1v1 tournament number two. And um, I'm here with Cynical Llama, the player in the upper left. It is Gift Me Kill, the Carbon player, and uh, Medic Osprey with a what is that pilot? I for, I always I'm not great that with front lines. I believe Bill. Bill is a Mako reskin. A Mako reskin. Not, okay, which makes I'm not sense. Positive, but I think. Okay. And his opponent, the green player on the bottom bottom right, it is Killer Seven Five Two in a Beppo Hog. Ooh, I like seeing that. That's very interesting. Um, so it is a, a, a time for the Hero Hog to come back. I don't think so because of the whole uh, modifier on fort damage, but I really, really like the hero hog concept, not necessarily the hero hogging action, um, but it is going to be the classic super damage versus the super sustain, so I, I'm very, very interested to see what happens. No, um, no AA or ratchet up for killer yet, but the seeker yeah, is out. He is going full aggression, already starting to fire in on Gift Me Kill's units, even though it's not doing too much. He's actually doing a pretty good job just with two units and his hog. However, Gift Me Kill intelligently moving in with a lot more units than Killer. Killer a little bit in danger, especially at level 4, you're much more vulnerable. And Gift Me Kill is just pushing right through. Killer forced to pull back. And it's worth noting that Gift Me Kill hasn't even made an effort to scout out those four levelers that Killer has on the map, so it looks like they're going to continue to do work for a good long while. I didn't actually even notice that. Um, I was focusing on those guys. But yes, uh, level four, um, and Killer has definitely killed, ironically enough, less than um, Gift Me Kill. But Gift Me Kill with that middle outpost under his control, and plenty of units That's to defend. Right. And while it looks like it's only a two upkeep difference, or no upkeep difference, remember that Gift Me Kill does have the advantage on account of the fact that those levelers are eating up some of his upkeep. Oh yeah, definitely. I, I'm just curious to see, let's see, what does he does he have anything worthwhile? He has goalies, I mean obviously Gift Me Kill has also brought goalies. Gift Me Kill with a fort drop right now, right at the front door. Um, killer and now has to respond. And he doesn't stop to harass any of a leveler, those levelers. Right. Which is a strange choice, because he probably could have killed at least one of them. Yeah, even as an Osprey, um, now Gift Me Kill grabbing that box on the on the right side, or sorry, the left side. Oh, and actually the one on the right's also gone too, I'm guessing he grabbed it that like as Gift well. Gift Me Kill has taken both of the boxes, that's going to give him a substantial advantage. That's and probably he's going back for those levelers. There you go, and that's probably what that drop was about, he was timing it uh, a la Kumi style to uh, to force them to react um, in, in order to get both boxes instead of just one. And it looks like Killer is going to save that second leveler, but one's down, and Gift Me Kill does have a substantial upkeep advantage. Produced the Seeker there at the fort. I don't know if he uh, cancelled it. Oh yeah, he, he, he was bringing one out for, um, for defense purposes, but now moving out from the mid, probably on a capture command, but he definitely Meanwhile, can actually go all in. Out, and it looks like we might have the beginnings of a base race. Oh here. man, there you go. Okay, yeah, and Killer and Gift Me Kill are both going in. I don't know if and Killer Gift is Me going Kill on a capture. However, Gift Me Kill does appear to be on one. Okay, yes, he is. And I think Killer is on capture command. He probably did see um, Gift Me Kill's units move out or at least out of position. Oh no, Killer also is on Y, so they are both on. Uh, this is definitely a base race, and it might be won by. Oh, oh man. Down and Killer is going to be doing quite a bit of damage with the Longhorn Guns, but can he stop it in time? And if he does, there is not much that um, Gift Me Kill can do, but I think this is probably going to be the end of the game. Killer not dropping anything in blocking position and, and not firing in as well with his biggest He's advantage is that Warthog. Base is just getting annihilated. It's over. And this is going to be over before the what green units can be. even reach the carbon base. And there you go, Killer752 getting finished off before his units can even touch Gift Me Kill. And there you go, Gift Me Kill moving on to the finals. Killer752, we will be seeing him in the third place match. Ma right match. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, uh, Gift Me Kill masked up pretty well. And, uh, you know, saw an opening and took it. Uh, yeah, and, and, you know, there was no real defense. There was no real reason for him not to. That, so that was a great choice. Uh, great job by exactly. Gift Me Kill. All right, guys. At the point where he sent it, there was nothing that Killer could do. Yeah. All right, guys. We're gonna move on to the next game in the semifinals. I believe it is Pro 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 versus Avorex. So stay tuned.